Welcome to the Creative Hugsa. In today's tutorial, we will create a watercolor effect in Affinity Photo. Go to File, Open, and select the image of the bird you downloaded. Go to the Tools panel and select the Selection Brush tool. We need to use this to get rid of the background. Take the brush and select the background around the bird. Make sure you're on the Add mode and that Snap to Edges is checked. You can use the left bracket to decrease the size of the brush, and you can use the right bracket on the keyboard to increase the size of the brush. In the context toolbar, select the refine button, then click apply. Go to the select menu at the top and select invert pixel selection, or you can press Ctrl plus Shift plus I on the keyboard. Go to the layers panel and select the image. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the image, or right click on it and select duplicate. Go back up to the Select menu and select Deselect, or as a shortcut, press Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. Go to File, Place, and select the canvas image and spread it across the bird image. With the canvas image still selected, go to the toolbar and select Move to Back to send the canvas image behind the two images of the bird. Go to the Tools panel and select the Smudge Brush tool. Then go to the Brushes panel. Go to the Painting Brushes and select the 64 pixel Paint 10 brush. Select the Duplicated Bird layer in the Layers panel and rename the layer Smudged Bird. With the smudged bird layer still selected, take the smudge brush and go over the feathers of the bird. As you go over the feathers, you'll see them start to look blurry or fuzzy. This means that the feathers are getting smudged. In the Layers panel, select the Canvas layer and drag it between the two bird images. Select the Smudged Bird layer in the Layers panel. Click the Adjustment icon and select Levels. Next, go to the Adjustments icon again and select Black and White. Select both the level adjustment and the black and white adjustment layers. To select them both, click on the first one and hold Ctrl to select the other one. With both layers selected, drag them inside of the smudged bird layer. In the layers panel, select the smudged bird layer and change the blend mode from normal to multiply. Go to File place and select the first watercolor texture image you downloaded. With this watercolor image selected, go to the layers panel and drag this image inside of the smudge bird layer. Select the watercolor image from the layers panel. 
change the blend mode of this layer from normal to pen light. Go to File, Place, and select the other watercolor image. Place the second watercolor image on the bottom part of the bird and extend it past the bird image. In the layers panel, select the second watercolor image and drag it inside of the smudge bird layer on top of the first watercolor image. With the second watercolor image selected, change the blend mode to screen. Now this step right here is optional, but double click on the levels adjustment you added in the layers panel. Set the black level to 7% and set the white level to 97%. With the watercolor effect, you can add as many watercolor pictures as you like to your image until you get the desired effect you want.